Jared Poland, Fro Knows Photo. Com. And this is a quick tip video for some ways that you can, well, these, how these things can come in handy for whatever you need. Whether you need to mount a camera, mount a flash, or mount any type of light somewhere, these, I guess they're Gorillapods. I don't even know who owns this company anymore, uh, but I've got a bunch of different ones, all the way from the smallest one, you could kind of attach an iPhone, or even just have it hold a light up if you want, even a small point and shoot camera. This could come in handy. It's small and it has magnets, it, my, my head's not magnetic, so it's not going to stick to it, but this thing can wrap around a couple, you could wrap it around like a hamster or something. And be like, get a hamster view. Put a GoPro on top of it. That's where it could come in handy. This thing could be good. Then they have the behemoth monster one, which I think is overpriced, but this is an op, this could, you could almost spend as much money on this as a high-end tripod. I think this is over a hundred bucks, but it's also harder to wrap around things, but this larger one is meant to wrap around trees. Say you're doing a photo shoot out and there's trees and you want to put a flash off the camera somewhere, well, this is a way that you could do that. You attach it to the limb, you move the ball head, and you then go ahead, move the ball, move the ball head. You move the, you not turn the thing, you, oh, I locked it. You unlock it and you move it. I can also remember that I uh, took this thing to Aruba with me and swam in the ocean. I attached a GoPro to it and it still works. That was last year and the salt water didn't kill it. So that's a good thing to know. Then there's even the miniature, well, the smaller size one. What do you use this for, Stephen? Off cam he uses this for off-camera off flash as well. But then you also have something like a, 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 a super clamp. I have a super clamp. This isn't the one. This is Stevens. I have one that has a ball head on top so that you could clamp it to something like uh, bars or monkey bars or something like that. If you want to do a shoot out there, you would clamp it to it, and boom, your super clamp will clamp its way wherever you need it. So this is good stuff for, tri uh, for GoPros, good stuff for smaller cameras. It's good for lighting when you need to put it different places. So that's why it's just a quick tip. These things are out there. A bunch of different companies now make them. So just having one in your bag could save you a lot. And then one last thing is gaff tape. This is better than duct tape. You never know when gaff tape is going to save you. I know that we used this little guy and gaff tape when we were up at the photo show to attach something to this. I, we made it work because we had some gaff tape. I go everywhere with the gaff tape. It's always in my camera bag. You never know when you need to tape something up. You need to tape somebody's mouth shut or anything like that. Gaff tape comes in handy. And that's a quick tip for a couple of things that you can do with your flashes, cameras, and everything along those lines. That's it. Jared Poland, Fro knows photo.com. See ya. Hey there, Fro Nation. Have you signed up for the Fronos Photo email list yet? Well, please do so over at fronosphoto.com. Look for the orange box, and when you sign up and hit send it, you will receive a free ebook, a guide to capturing motion in low light situations.